other products that I like to use on my round are deodorant stone. And this you can get any like health food store. I don't really need to see the brand, but there it is. When I'm really hard up to not sweat, I use my evil deodorant. Cert and dry. This stuff's evil. It's got aluminum in it. I use it like once every two months. I really try to stay away from that stuff. Um, in fact, I hardly use deodorant ever lately because I just don't sweat when I'm on P2. Kind of awesome. Now, I'm one of those crazy people who doesn't take any vitamins when they're on the round. Although I'll take some vitamin C or whatever I need if I don't feel great. But this is my typical vitamin. I didn't... After rereading the protocol, I didn't actually see Dr. Simeon say anything really, really negative about taking a multivitamin, but I was scared out of it in my first round by something that uh, the company I bought my HCG said, or my HCG mix. And then the one thing I've been doing really religiously is my Vitex. Now this is a women's herb, and it helps you regulate your periods. I have crazy, very painful periods, and I've been taking this really religiously for the last month, two months. Had a really easy going Tom this time. Don't know why, but it was great. And then I got so tired of that senia, senia leaf tea. That it just, you know, it makes you hurt. Um, my mom came to town and brought this with her, and this was a gift for me. I'll try and put the information up later if you can't see that. I take one to three of these a day, and it keeps me so easily regular. Um, although sometimes, you know, a week will go by, but the last three days, it's back to ring regular. So who knows? I don't know. Now, face products and makeup. I'm really strict and st um, stingy about not putting certain things on. I cannot find my lipstick, but I use lipstick just about every day. Most days, I'll put a little of this on. So oil-free makeup and this, an oil-free lotion, SPF 15. So I like those products a lot. For my hair, um, it's so hard for me in my hair. I do have a little bit of extra product in my hair today. But I've got this Trader Joe's Aloe Vera, 99% pure Aloe Vera. And then this kind of odd product, it's sort of a similar thing. This is a mail order thing that we've been using for like the last 15 years of my family. Also, there's soaps and stuff. I put those two things in my hair. Um, now, if I'm really hard up for really good hair products, this is the best straightener I've ever used, ever. Amazing. Sometimes I put it in just to, like, get my hair, like, in better shape. Here's my Bumble Mumble, which is, like, almost completely gone. Really, really, really good product. In fact, I can almost always only just use that and have great hair. And thank you to Southern California for not being unbelievably humid. And then this one, uh, Diva Curl use that on occasion and I use that a little bit more often during P2. Now those last three ingredients I almost never touch in P2, just so you know. Um, and that's it. And then I like to drink my water out of glass bottles if at all possible. I try and drink three of these a day. I don't know if you can see this, but you probably can't. Raw. Wonderful, wonderful raw cow's milk, which I don't drink when I'm on my rounds because it goes bad way too fast. But if you have any access to a farm, fresh cow milk, any like raw cow's milk, holy goodness, that is some good stuff. Tasty and, do your research, really healthy. Oh, and then last but not least, I was mentioning makeup. I love this Tarte um, face cheek powder. I have a lot of it on tonight. I don't know if you can see. Um, and I love my two mascaras. Lancome, Great Lash, cheap and expensive, one's cheap, one's expensive, and my Lorac powder, and this I don't hardly ever touch, but I do love my NARS lipstick, so you can see the brand at least. Really phenomenal lipsticks. All right, so this is, this is my product. This is what I use. This is like every day. Um, I eat most of the vegetables that are allowed in the protocol, etc. So, my really fantastic recommendations for having a good round are monitor your thoughts about food, about yourself, about your body, about if you um, want to eat, if you're angry that you can't eat, if you're angry that you, if you're totally calm, if you feel really good, if you feel like, oh my God, I'm, 
I'm having this new, I'm starting to feel like I'm having a new relationship with food. Write that stuff down. Write it in a journal. I have a journal. I always write um, if things get overwhelming and I write about the good and the bad. Same on my fitness pal. I always make notes at the bottom of my fitness pal every day about things I did that were not protocol, mop, or cheating. Um, and another thing is if you're on my fitness pal and you have a lot of friends and you're feeling really embarrassed about something you did and you don't want to you don't want them to know, you can still update that and you can make it private and keep it to yourself for a while. <laughs> but write it down. It's so important because you can go back. I literally go back and I'm gonna read what I ate in P3 in November and December of 2011. Like that is gonna be so helpful for me. And then you know, give yourself a break and reread the protocol. Everybody always says that, but I just read it last night or the night before. And I'll be damned did I just read so many things that I either number one forgot about, didn't pay attention to because I didn't think they were important to me at the time, or just got reiterated for me, or stuff that I was having issues with and was confused about. And so that's the last thing I'm going to talk about today. I was actually having a weird issue the last, so yesterday, the day before, and the day before that. Um, so this is my first round of injecting, and it's been going really well. And I was totally scared and freaked out and thought that um, injecting was going to be... I had this feeling... Like, what if it doesn't work? What if the HG doesn't work? What if I don't inject right? What if I don't figure out the right amount? Um, and there was some struggle with that during the round. Like I said, I went from 125 to 150 to 135 I use. And to be totally honest, I think 135 is good, but it might be different for my next round. Um, and I was just really kind of super focused on did I feel hungry? Did I feel full? Was I feeling good? I always felt good throughout the whole round. But... I was like physically, but I had a, a fair amount of time of like just really intense hunger in the beginning, then some really intense fullness in the middle, and then being very perf like in a perfect place lately. So I think that's why 135 I use seems really wonderful to me. And I think I finally feel like on my next round or any rounds I ever do in the future, I just have such, I feel so completely sure that the HCG is going to work for me and then it's figure outable and anyone can do it. <laughs> I'm not good with math. Um, you know, that kind of thing. There are videos for people for you to watch and get connected, but I did have an issue the other day and what it was is, um, so injecting has been easy the whole time, but as I've gotten thinner, all of a sudden I I'm having a really hard time. It's been painful. And so I was running out the door. I had forgotten and I, and I put the needle in and it didn't want to go in. <laughs> And I struggled for a second, and I finally kind of just shoved it in. And I, within seconds, got extraordinarily lightheaded. I had to sit down on the floor. And my mom gave me a glass of water, and I ate an apple. And I, I sat there for like five minutes. And I felt better as soon as I ate the apple. Had lunch, worked really hard all day, no problems, felt full felt fantastic. Next morning, injected okay, but within minutes, same thing happened. Just felt, whoa, woozy, not good. So that night, I think is the night I read the protocol, we read the protocol, and I did another thing. I rechecked my HGD with a pregnancy test. It's coming up a little like light, but it still says it's pregnant. And I got six days to go, and I'm full. So I'm thinking, hmm, I'm full, but I'm getting way lightheaded. Didn't really know what to do, but I'm reading the protocol, and lo and behold, Dr. Simeon mentions sometimes we have patients who maybe didn't load properly, and at some point in their round get extremely lightheaded, extremely, like, pass out, black out, but don't get hungry. He's like, then we feed them two heaping teaspoonfuls, and you should check the protocol for this to be sure, and it's somewhere in the very back of the protocol. But, um, and usually that takes care of it almost immediately and they don't have this happen again. So I thought, okay, maybe I was ovulating, which I probably was. Maybe something was off kilter and maybe even my HCG isn't doing its full job right now. 
So if it happens again the next day, I'll do it. So it happened again yesterday. And so instead of taking a big heaping teaspoon of sugar, I took a big te heaping teaspoon of unsulfured blackstrap molasses. And that has just the like, almost exact same amount of sugar as sugar. <laughs> so I felt like it was okay. Plus it's got that, you know, good for your, you know, uh, iron levels and whatnot. So I did that. Felt decent pretty quickly, ate my apple, sat down for a minute, felt good. Woke up this morning and felt amazing. No issues all day, not even hunger. So I just wanted to mention that and let you know that if there's problems, the answers might just be in the protocol. And then of course there's always answers online. So anyway, I love you guys. I'm so happy to be back and be more involved. There's some really, really wonderful and amazing people on. Um, maybe I'll do a shout out video in, in my P3 because I really need to like actually write down people who are just, I'm just really having a nice time and interacting with people and it's a little different than it has been for me in the past. Um, I feel a little more connected. Um, so thank you guys so much. I really adore you and I'm glad to share my journey with you and et cetera. So, Happy New Year, guys. You're amazing. I'm wishing you the most wonderful rounds, the most wonderful stabilization, that you find your right place and your right foods and your right mental, you know, place and, and that you heal and that we all, you know, heal because we all have completely different relationships with food, with our bodies. The reasons we gain weight are all completely different. But there's great ways to work through it and this is such a nice protocol to give you that time away from food. It's just really, this clean kind of eating really gives you time to think. And I know I've mentioned that before, but it's a wonderful thing. Utilize it um, and embrace it. And if this scary stuff comes up, it's not as bad as you think it is. Work through it. And if you find that you actually are really kind of healthy and healed with food and you just have extra weight to get off embrace that and like love that because it's a wonderful thing so anyway i will be back for the very end of my round to give you the results and then i'm gonna really commit to doing a couple videos in p3 and then checking in every so often it, i think it's good to stay connected and so that's what i'm gonna do all right i love you bye everyone